Anthony Joshua destroyed Aldo Wallen. Now, I'm very impressed from Anthony Joshua's performance. And I'll tell you why. Because he landed some great jabs and some great body shots in the beginning of rounds. Not only that, but his footwork and his accuracy was incredible throughout this whole fight. And which this fight didn't last long because Anthony Joshua rocked Aldo Wallen in round five. Hands go. <laughs> no! And then Otto Wallen went back to his stool and quit on the stool at the end of round five. Now, a lot of people are excited for the Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder fight, which is not happening because guess what? Deontay Wilder lost completely in his fight. So that means there will be no Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder in 2024. Now, I kind of knew what to expect from both fighters, but I didn't know if they were going to be able to replicate it since both fighters had a lot of pressure going on to this fight. For example, Anthony Joshua had a lot of pressure because he had a lot to lose since he is the big name. And since to most, he's already lost a lot of credibility due to him declining and slowing down in his latest performances. And Otto Wallen had a lot of pressure because as the underdog, he had the opportunity and the chance to end Joshua career once and for all but i knew that based off anthony joshua's latest performance and which he looked really calculated i knew that if he went into this fight the same way he could have a chance at hurting Otto wallen and maybe even finishing Otto wallen in under 12 rounds now it's a bit weird because anthony joshua is now starting to make a slow comeback because when he lost to andy ruiz he's been able to come back and then obviously he lost to Usyk twice in a row but again he's been able to come back which from then until now he's been on a three fight winning streak with all three fights ending in very good results but it's also weird because even Otto wallen thought that anthony joshua was going to lose this fight as he believed that anthony joshua hit his peak in 2018 and he believes that anthony joshua lost confidence in himself due to him switching trainers but anthony joshua this year has proven all of that wrong like i said he's had three fights this year and has won every single fight in very good fashion in the end very good performance by anthony joshua i think he's starting to gain people's respect and attention back as like i said he's had three fights this year winning all by very good fashion now it's a matter of fact on when is his next fight and who's his next fight